Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Well, last time I started showing you the different samples that you can fight, uh, there was a request for that. So I started doing that and there's a few more samples that we can fight before finishing up with this area. So I want to go back the way that I came to end the last episode. And it was, if you recall, we go this way down here and in here is where we fought the angler in it, which I destroyed quite easily. But if you go back this way, yeah, there's a, uh, another door that we can enter there. Let me make sure my setup is all good. Royal sword, good. And you know, for this one, let's put rings of ice on, as opposed to... I don't even know why I have a Might of Stone on anymore. I don't really care about that. Uh, and let's get some rings of ice going. And I want to raise her hip position. Okay, very good. All right, and now let's go into this door. Let's see what's over here. Oh, wait, I remember these guys. We fought these guys on the black ship. And now it's time for a boss battle against the Ammon Ammonites. And you remember we had to fight these guys early. Okay, so same as, as before, let's uh, let's get speed going. And I want to get speed going on uh, Momo first so that she can beef up our other characters. Get that going. Now, the reason I've got the rings of ice on is because if you recall, these guys can uh, cast Blizzard. And I might not I might not need uh, to cast speed on the other two characters, because we may get X turns. But just in case. Ow! Uh oh. Hey, you want to watch out for these, because these things can confuse you. And hopefully this light bangle will not work. Because the network thing. Cute. Okay. So yeah. Oh, we are getting extra with everybody. Okay, very good. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get extra with everybody, but it looks like we are. Very nice. And then basically the strategy is just keep attacking. <laughs> nice shot, Ryu. That will work quite nicely. Okay. And so even if you didn't get that critical hit, you're still doing good amounts of damage. I'm doing 500 damage, because I've got the uh, Royal Sword equipped, and the Royal Sword is Lightning Elemental, and these guys are weak to Lightning. So even with a critical hit, we're doing a ton of damage, so that's awesome. And basically just go and keep attacking until they're dead. Like I said, they can cast Blizzard on you, so that's why I've got the Ice Rings equipped, so that we can absorb that. But you don't really need it. If you don't, don't want to equip it, you don't have to. Yay! Then we get a level for Ryu there, and his agility is increasing even more. All right, very good. And let's see. Let me go up this way. Let's see what's up here. Anything up here? Yeah, nothing up here. So it's just kind of dead end. But you can walk across and see some. Oh, there's some more areas that are red. We'll be visiting those in just a moment, I do believe. But for right now, we can go over... Actually, oops, nope. There's something over here we can pick up. Nope. Looks like just a bunch of dead ends up top. So, there you are. So let's uh, get you back in the lead. There we go. Down here. Now we can go this way. And that should bring us, yeah, bring us out here. So now we can go down the ladder. And this should take us back to where we started. Very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here, I'm going to rest up, and then I will meet you back at the entrance to this area, and we'll take on some of the final samples that we can face in this area. Okay, I've made it back here to the entrance. And to get here, basically all I do is I go down that path right in front of where the book is make my way down through there and it gets you back to the beginning and if you can't remember how to do it just check out some of my old videos and that will show you what to do but for right now we want to go and take on some of the final samples of this game they are definitely some of the more difficult ones so let's go this way and now we want to go here and now we get this new door here that we haven't been through this red door here so let's go through here and up this way. And if we go up here, 
Yeah, now we have two entrances here. Now this door, if I open this door. Basically we can buy, we can take this chest and we get a swallow eye. It basically allows us to bypass uh, one of the enemies here. So if we go up this way. Yeah, so it allows us to bypass one of the enemies. But I'm a sucker for punishment. So let's go back this way. And through here. And now what I want to do, let me switch up my equipment there. So I don't think it really matters. Uh, I'll get my rings of fire back on. Well, you know what? I don't think he needs one. He doesn't even need one because he's got a uh, he's got a dragon helm on which protects against flames. So I don't even need that for him. Yeah, let's just get a ring of fire on. Like I said, I don't think it really matters for this one, but ring of fire, I just like it better than a ring of ice. Okay, now let's go this way. And woo! What's this? I don't recall seeing this guy before. And now it's time for a boss battle against Sample 4. Now, this is the Dodo. And we actually haven't met him. This is actually a new a new enemy here. So, uh, same strategy as before. Let's get Warshout going. And I'm actually going to examine with my characters. We can learn the Evil Eye ability from this guy. Which uh, basically paralyzes you. Which can be, which can be helpful if you want it. Oh, we get speed going. And, you know, I think I cast speed on Ryu, but that's fine. You know, uh, again, just to double check to make sure that we get X turns. And I should have done it with Momo so we can get more speed going. But my fault. That's okay. We're still going to be just fine. Ow! He dropped my defense. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Aha! Yeah, good shot there, Ryu. Okay. So yeah, it turns out that we are going to need to cast speed to get X turns. So let's get that going on Momo there, so that we can speed up Gar. There we go. And then basically we just attack. And we should be good to go. So we can cast double blow on you. Ooh! Yikes. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is, you know, I should probably, probably stand to heal up, so let's use, let's do that. Uh, let's vitalize our team there, and Momo, why don't you speed up Gar there? Very good. And, uh, like I said, don't be afraid to use your AP here, uh, since we have, we only have to do one more battle before we can heal up again. And really, even if you do a lot, take a lot of damage in this, you can just go back around the other way, heal up if you want to, and then go back. Okay. Now, this guy also happens to be weak to fire. So, let's use Pyrokinesis, and I bet we can get some extra damage in. Ooh, yeah, good shot there, Gar. Okay. Now, you notice I tried to copy, or I tried to copy Evil Eye, and I got it learned. Sweet. Very nice. Okay, so Pyrokinesis, and then let's... Remedy on Ryu there. Yeah, because I do not want to be paralyzed. Being paralyzed sucks. There we go. And then basically just go all out until the Dodo Bird is dead. I think the last time I had to face Dodo Bird was Super Mario RPG. I don't know if you guys remember that game. But uh, I had to face the Dodo there. And then the, last and then the other time I remember Dodo was way, way back in the Horizons. Uh, you could discover Dodo as a star level discovery there. Don't kill Gar! Woo -hoo -hoo. Dang, Gar's gonna ask it. All right, well, let's uh, restore Gar there. Gar, Parkinesis, and one more attack. And now that we have speed going, we all get X turns. And basically, this, this now becomes easy. Go! And actually, now that I think about it, um, this boss, I don't think, has a name. He doesn't have an official name. He's just known as Sample 4. But in uh, one of the guides that I'm using to help me through this, uh, the guy calls him a Dodo. And now that I look at it, I can definitely see the resemblance. A fat Dodo bird there. This guy, this guy does have a lot of HP, though. Ooh! Ouch. I don't want to heal up after that. Um, store there. And pieces. And a Good. I guess I could have healed up with Momo, but I always like to be 
need to have max HP. Alright. That guy. Alright. Now just continue the attacking process, and he should go down eventually. So, I guess what I'll do now is I'll just, uh... I'll just keep this strategy up, healing when I need to. Because basically, this fight is over. And whenever he casts Evil Eye on you, just heal it with Momo. And then you're good to go. So, I'll basically just go through this, finish up this fight. And then I'll be back once Dodo is dead. And just using the same pattern. And there we go! Got him! I really wanted to take one more turn, so I only had to edit out about 10 seconds of battle, but... You know, anything I can do to save time for the b universe. And Momo gains level, uh, level gets to 36, and now she learns Restore, so now I don't have to have Ryu do it. Excellent. Very good. And now that battle is done. Yay! Very good. Let's go up this way. And, ah, we have another new door that we can take on. Alright, so let's do it. Put it this way. And, ooh. What do we have here? Well, I recognize this guy. And now it's time for another boss battle against Manmo. And Manmo is the most recent boss uh, that we fought uh, that has been copied to this area. So, probably the most difficult one we're going to have to face. Well, he is the most difficult one we're going to have to face. But... That's okay, we can handle it. All right, so same strategy as before. And we just start going all out on him. And be careful, because he can fight back, unfortunately. But we'll just heal up, and then we'll just go from there. Just gotta go all out there. Again, I'm not gonna switch into dragon form, just in case I need Ryu to heal. And really, the dragon isn't gonna do too much more damage. Yeah, good shot there, Reeve. Well done. And Momo's gonna take an extra turn, speed up for you. Okay, so we are getting extra turns. So you know what? I don't need to I don't need to use an extra turn then. Let's just uh let's just attack. There we go. So Manmo, if you if you recall, and you probably don't, but that's okay. Uh Manmo can use reprisals, so you should just watch for that. Um, he can also use Quake, so you want to watch out for that. But other than that, um, you just want to use... Oh, no, I don't need to paralyze. I just need to rejuvenate. There we go. And, and Momo is doing more damage than Ryu right now. So, I'm going to have Momo attack, and Gar attack, and then have Ryu heal uh, when he needs to. Yes, yeah, so just watch out for him fighting back. Now, here's a Quake attack. Watch out for that. Deal too much deal more damage than I thought I was going to. But that's okay. Okay, attack, attack, and why don't we vitalize there? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I've got two people using using vitalize. Ow! Two people that can use vitalize. And this is the last of the sample battles. So, there you are. Very good. Okay. And I'm gonna have Momo attack, guard attack, and let's go with uh, restore there. Mm. I eesh, that's really good. Maybe I should just have Ryu attack since since uh, I'm pretty sure I can get him to to uh, to strike there. You know what I'm also gonna do to help us out is. Uh, let's get let's get shield going since he can since he can since he can uh, hit us pretty hard and he reprises a lot. Yep, I don't even want to use shield a couple times to get our defense boosted. He can't knock down our defense in the middle, which is nice. And basically, that's the strategy. Ow. Better. Okay, let's you know let's use one more round of shields. And check our other guys attack. Yeah, basically this is the plan. We'll take it down and we should be in good shape. Alright. 
Got it! Woohoo! I gained 2,000 experience. I gained a level for Gar. Very nice! Yay! Very good. Now if we take this door. It takes us out to this area. Takes us down. And now we've defeated all of the sample monsters. So I'll heal up and be right back. Okay, and now I'm healed up and have destroyed all of the samples in this area. Yay! But what else can we do in Breath of Fire 3? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.